It's steering wheel time, and if you know anything about this bolt, you know that it's a pain. So let me give you some tips on what I did to get this out. And I'm gonna do this right in the beginning because it's the most important information that I feel like I can give you. But this is a T50. General Motors even says, use a perfectly good T50 on there. In my case, I used a snap-on with a big ratchet breaker bar set up here. And uh, it was a chore to get this off. You really want two people. Uh, it says, by it, I mean General Motors says, do not use any kind of heat. Do not use uh, any kind of high impact like a, like a hammer. Don't use a hammer or an air hammer to get this thing out. You're going to damage stuff. Do not turn your steering wheel all the way all the way to the left and then ratchet down on this. You're going to break stuff that way. You need a person holding your steering wheel from one side and then while you break the bolt loose. I did it with just one person because, yeah, I did because I wasn't prepared for two people. But the way that I did it was I wedged the ratchet underneath my leg while I turned the steering wheel, and that ended up actually working. It was extremely difficult, but it worked. Um, that's it, those are my warnings. Let's roll into this thing. All right, so the battery is disconnected. What we're gonna do, we need to get this airbag off and then disconnect the connectors in there. So. We got the holes on the side right there. I'm gonna to go to the old, the new steering wheel and show you what we got. So screwdriver goes in the hole, right? And it's gonna come through right about there. Okay, and then you're just gonna to try to, it's gonna pop this spring clip off and then it's gonna allow that side to come off and you're gonna do the same on the other side. Airbag's gonna pop off, disconnect the connector, and I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I slid this connector out. I just pulled on it to make it easier to see, but I'm just gonna put the screwdriver here and then that'll slide right out. All right, and for these, I've converted to this 90 degree pick, and you will just need to slide this up on each side. All right, so here we are disconnected. Here's the bolt that is uh, the death bolt, and everything's disconnected. You can see the orange locks. You just slide them up one by one, and they come right off, so. Let's work on this black connector, getting this undone, and then I'll work on this bolt. All right, did we get it? We got something. It's 11 o'clock and I did that. I should probably turn off the lights now. Neighbors are gonna come over all pissed off. But we got it. All right, centered it back. That's what we call victory. So now we just pull off, 
Swap na naman. See the similarities and differences here. So this connector is not on this one. So all we're gonna have to do now is hope that that's for the heater because this one doesn't have a heater and I was aware of that when I bought it. But that's about it, that's different. So let's get to swapping. Now we can go back in here and reconnect the battery. Now we can go up to the trunk. Tennis ball is trying to kill me. 